meta-analysis with a continuous outcome based on an effect size which is correlation coefficient abbreviated R in R statistics and generating a forest plot and a funnel plot. So what is meta-analysis? Meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines data extracted from several independent uh, research studies that addresses the same scientific, medical, or clinical question. The objective of performing meta-analysis is to calculate the overall or, or pooled estimate of the effect size, in this case, the correlation coefficient, and the statistical method will also examine the heterogeneity or variability uh, between the results from those several independent studies by performing heterogeneity test and generating an I squared values uh, which is represented by a percentage the higher the percentage the uh, higher the level of heterogeneity as zero percent indicates no heterogeneity and a hundred percent indicates maximum heterogeneity meta-analysis will also generate a forest plot which is the forest plot is a diagram that displays the summary for the meta-analysis that includes the estimate of the overall effect size which is the overall correlation coefficient the 95 percent confidence interval and the heterogeneity test meta-analysis will also uh, generate a final plot which assess the bias in publication to perform meta-analysis uh, uh, using an effect size uh, which is uh, correlation coefficient launch the R studio and then if you had not installed the meta uh, package then install that in R and I'm going to load the meta analysis package by typing library open a bracket and then type meta and this will load the uh, package into the R and ready to be used then load also the file that contains the data to perform meta analysis and the data are scored in on based on an effect size which is a correlation coefficient to do that so click on file scroll down to import data set and then select uh, from SPSS as the file is saved in SPSS format then click on browse locate the file and then click on it which is correlation meta analysis click on open then click on import the data are loaded into R studio and as shown from the table here there are 12 studies from 1 to 12 and the effect size estimated is the correlation coefficient which is R and a value is scored for each study and a total number of participants in the study is also recorded to perform the meta-analysis then meta-correlation function will be used first let's generate an object and call it x and then use the assignment operator then the command or the function for the meta uh, co correlation for correlation click on it and then in between the bracket type data equal sign and then uh, insert the name of the file that contains the data and then insert a comma after that place the effect size which is the correlation coefficient and it is given an R label comma and then the total number 
which is given a label of total uh, for the total variable and then comma after that type the summary e sm equal to uh, open a quotation mark and then type core for correlation and then select the uh, effects model and i'm going to use the fixed effects model so insert comma after the quotation mark here and then type random equal to false and fixed equal to true insert a comma and then insert also the study id for each study in the uh, meta-analysis by typing study stud lab uh, equal to study id as given here in this variable and if you hit enter and then type x to view the output of the meta-analysis as shown here the number of studies are uh, k12 and the number of observations 364 and the common effect model is selected and the correlation coefficient is calculated to p.5 and 95% uh, 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 confidence interval is calculated for the um, effect size and a p-value is also calculated which is less than 0.05 and a heterogeneity test performed mainly done on uh, Q uh, statistics and an I squared is generated which is equal to 8% uh, with a 95% confidence interval and from the test of heterogeneity the degree of freedom was 11 and the p-value was greater than 0.05 so this uh, heterogeneity test shows that there is low level of heterogeneity between the results to generate a forest plot just type forest open a bracket and then insert x comma and then use one of the layout that already pre-installed and i'm going to use the revman layout and hit enter then click on zoom here and as shown in the plot for forest plot here this is the forest plot as shown there are three sections the first section is descriptive statistics the second section is the diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics and the third one is the uh, overall uh, effect size and heterogeneity test as shown the study is inserted from study 1 to 12 and the total uh, number or the sample size is inserted with a weight uh, percentage as given here which reflects the influence of the sample size on the overall analysis of the meta analysis and a correlation coefficient is calculated for each specific study with 95% confidence interval with an upper and a lower limits. Uh, the second section here is the diagrammatic representation of uh, the first section. The square symbol here represents the correlation coefficient for each specific study, which is color coded red and the size of that square or squares does does uh, or do varies uh, uh, ben depending on the sample size or the weighted percentage higher sample size will have higher square the horizontal line represent the 95 percent confidence interval with the upper and lower limits and the vertical line uh, dashed line represent the overall effect size or the overall correlation coefficient the diamond shaped here is the uh, estimated effect size which is the pooled correlation which is equal to 
five. And the third section here is the uh, overall if, uh, effect size and the heterogeneity test, which is calculated based on the I squared as uh, it is eight percentage and uh, P value also is generated. So this is the forest plot that is produced from the meta analysis based on an effect size, which is the correlation coefficient that combines the data from all these 12 studies and pool them to uh, calculate overall uh, correlation to also uh, produce a funnel plot to check for the publication bias. Close the plot and in the section here type funnel, open up brackets and then type X which is the object generated. A funnel plot is produced and as shown uh, from the funnel plot, it is a scatter plot with an x axis uh, have the correlation coefficient for each specific study uh, uh, represented as a gray circle and the y axis is the standard error and the scatter plot is in a shape of a funnel with a line in the middle which represent the overall correlation coefficient which is 0.5. For lack of publication bias, the distribution of the um, effect size should be symmetrical uh, between the two section here or uh, between the upper and the lower uh, part of the uh, graph. We have here on the right hand side, we have one, two, three, four uh, correlation coefficient or effect size. On the left hand side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From this uh, funnel plot, it is clear that the distribution of the estimate of effect side is asymmetrical. Uh, and there is a bias of publication. This has to be confirmed by additional statistical analysis, which is the Eagers regression test. This is the way to perform a correlation coefficient meta-analysis for a continuous uh, variable or uh, outcome. Uh, in our statistics and generating a funnel plot and a forest plot.